What's up guys, Robo Freak here. Today I'm going to show you the same stepper motor I showed you in the last video, except this one has speed control. Unlike the last one, this one is 100%. Like I, I said 100% last time, but this is truly 100%. Every aspect of the motor, speed, direction, and how far the shaft will spin is all controllable from the computer. So, on the, micro, on the microcontroller, I updated the code, and it now uh, receives two extra variables, one for how many characters are in the speed value, it's either three or four, and then um, another uh, variable, which is the speed value. The easy driver is the same, and the motor and everything's the same, except for the battery, if you haven't noticed. It's a 12 volt battery. Uh, my drill battery died and the charger is not working, so can't use that. Okay, here's the computer. I did change the program, if you haven't noticed already. Um, there's a track bar right here, and that allows full control of the um, uh, microsecond delay that you send to the uh, microcontroller. There's a checkbox so that you can use a precise speed. So you simply check that and then you enter in the speed you want and it'll send it to the um, microcontroller. There's the send a motor button. And then these two text boxes down here I added just for convenience because I'm thinking of uh, making this file executable and uh, for downloads so that you guys can use the um, same program to control your robots. This should fit on most screens because my program does not um, scale to the resolution. I don't. I haven't put that in, but it's got the port and the baud rate, so you can enter in the port number that it's on and the baud rate, and then you can hit open port. And there's a close port button. There's also a default button, and when you click this, it will reset everything. It'll reset the track bar and all the boxes to their default values. The only thing it doesn't set is the drop down menu. As I said on the Arduino side of the code, um, I only I added a whole little section. Uh, you have to download the code and look at it. Basically, it the before it calculates the value, I plug this in and it takes another character the third character which tells it how many characters and then it has two if statements if it's a three character value or if it's a four character and then it uh, it'll extract a three value or a, a three character value or a four character value and then it'll continue with the um, regular uh, program that I had in the last video so let's test it out I'm going to put in let's say one revolution and for this I'm going to select, let's say, a 400 micros, or uh, 500. 500 will show you the speed. I'm going to open the port. Oh, hmm. I don't know. The error handling didn't work. That's not good. Hang on. i got to restart the program. Uh, debugging didn't work don't send. Okay, um, here's the program again. I'm going to go forward, one revolution. I'm going to set the speed to about 500. And I got to open the port. Now, let's send it to the motor. I don't know if you heard that, but this is one revolution at 519 microseconds, not 500. Now I'm going to increase the delay up to 1,000. I'm going to increase the delay even farther up to 4,500. Oh crap, I did it again. I opened the port again. Whoops, why did I click that? Okay. Here's the program again. Put this in. 
Now I'm up at... Okay, it's spinning at around 4,500. It's going to do one revolution. 4,500 microseconds. As you can see, it was very slow. Now I'm going to go to the maximum that I can do, 5,000. Send it. It's a fairly smooth motion, as you can see on the box, but I'm thinking that's because the box is slipping. Let me add a piece of tape to show you guys. You might be able to see it better now. It's moving very slowly. Okay. So, please check out the code. Uh, I encourage you to use it. You can do whatever you want with it. And this program on the computer, I'm going to finalize it and make sure all error corrections in it and most likely put it online for you guys to use. You can change all the port numbers and everything. I need to set it up so that it works on everybody's computer. Some people might have a smaller screen, so I have to make it scale the uh, you know, boxes and buttons and stuff to fit your resolution on your screen. So it's pretty basic. And if you like the videos, please rate, subscribe, comment, and Send me a friend request. Alright. There are more videos to come.